What he can do with a horse in a short period of time is something that is, you know, it's, it's almost magical because he's that good. To do what Clinton does day in, day out, and to be able to be excited every day about helping someone new with horsemanship can only come from somebody that is absolutely and truly passionate about helping people become better. Respect gives you control. Respect and control gives you what? Trust. I'm not trying to be cliched by saying change your life, but it does. It changes your life, it changes your horse's life. Clinton Anderson's lifelong passion for horses started at an early age in Queensland, Australia. With encouragement from his grandmother, Thelma Piercy, Clinton approached horsemanship with a single-mindedness and determination that would define his life. Clinton found early success in the sport of polo cross, where he was among the best in his age group throughout Queensland. But it was in training horses that Clinton found his true calling. When he said he wanted to be a horse trainer, we sort of said, oh yeah, this is going to be good. You know, we weren't 100% thrilled about it, but I, I know I said to him one day, I said, well, why don't you go and do an apprenticeship for four years and have a think about it, and then you might want to come back and train horses. And he just looked at me and said, why do I want to waste four years of my life, Mum? And I thought, well, shit, that's pretty damn true. So at the age of 15, Clinton packed up and headed off to apprentice for Gordon McKinley and then Ian Francis, two of the most revered horsemen in all of Australia. I think uh, we taught him to have a really strong work ethic and uh, taught him to pay attention to, to uh, the, the basics of horsemanship. He learned a lot about the foundation of horses in horse training. He learned a lot about uh, keeping horses light and finesseful. By the time he came to America in 1996, Clinton had already developed much of the feel, timing, and experience that would become the foundation for his innovative method of horse training. His eight steps to success has eliminated much of the mystery and frustration most people encounter while training their horses. He's such a good teacher and breaks things down in a real simple, easy to understand way that, that anyone can go out and apply the method and get results immediately the first time they go try. Make sense? Whether conducting clinics at his ranch in Texas or taking his method on the road, Clinton's core purpose is to inspire the dreams of horsemen. The excitement level that he brings to education and the tours uh, even still blows me away. It's all live, it's not fake, it's not staged, it's real. You guys just drive me nuts. I love the humor. It makes everybody giggle, relax, and laugh as he's making comments about a particular horse or rider, or somebody not paying attention or not listening. And you just giggle, and when you do, that makes you relax, and when you relax, your horse relax. He's looking for another owner. There you go. He's stuck with you, Mike, okay? His methods work. His methods are real. It's not hocus pocus, it's not magic, it's real. And people get that, and I think that they understand it and they're attracted to it, and I think that that's one of the reasons that it continues to grow. If you want to train your horse, you've got to be the leader in the relationship. What separates Clinton from other top clinicians and trainers is his commitment to being an all-around horseman, something he credits to his early years with Gordon and Ian. I think that's one of the things I admire most about what he's doing is that he's not being afraid to expose himself to competition and uh, also, you know, the criticism of, of the public. And that, that takes a lot of courage. He's not afraid to throw his hat in the ring and go out there and compete. He has a lot to risk, he has a lot to lose. This is a dangerous situation. Come on, run, woman. Good girl. <laughs> in 2000, Clinton revolutionized the equine industry when he created Down Under Horsemanship, the first of its kind made for TV horse training show. Clinton has been an innovator in the industry from day one. Uh, the way he went about his methods and teaching, you know, he's the first one on RFD TV, the first clinician to ever bring horse training and, and teaching people to the world really through television, pushing the bar, and uh, really along with that he's pushing the industry and in fact I think leading the industry to become better. You know, status quo is not what it used to be anymore and I think Clinton has to be given the ultimate credit for that. He's gone way outside the, the scope of what Gordon McKinley and I were doing and he's been innovative 
and he's gone from having aspirations as a horse trainer now to, I guess, arguably the, the best equine people communicator in the world. If a horse has got enough energy to do the wrong thing, he's probably got enough energy to do the right thing. He's a professional horseman, a professional educator, and uh, a professional entertainer. Pretty unique combination.